Hello guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to react to One Piece episode 338. Now guys, the last episode, uh, Luffy has lost his goddamn mind, bro. We stumbled upon a ghost ship with a skeleton that apparently can poop but is a skeleton which makes no sense and Luffy just went you can poop great join my crew and the skeleton went okay what nah bro like I said so far we've gotten an arc where we get to connect to the new crewmate and then in the end Luffy asks him and right it all turns out well but this time, they just threw the script through the window and just said, yeah, you're gonna join my crew, even though we know nothing about this creature. How the hell is this skeleton even alive? Like, like I said, but this skeleton is cursed. Because how the hell are you dead and alive at the same time? So, I don't know what's going on, but I guess uh, One Piece has everything, bro. <laughs> even talking, walking, pooping skeletons. That being said, if you enjoy my reactions, feel free to share, subscribe, like, leave a comment, join the Patreon, support your boy, Discord second channel. Let's go, man. The gentleman skeleton's true feelings. He's not a gentleman, bro. He asked. He asked for Nami's panties. Okay, this was the laugh that my editor was mocking me with. I thought he was geeking the hell out, but no, he was actually impersonating this guy. Hi, Domo, Minasan, Goki Genyo. Watashi, Kono Tabi, Kono Hune de Goya Kai ni naru koto ni nari mashita. Shin de hone dake Brook des. Brook. I actually uh, knew his name was Brooke because my editor, we were talking and, and he kind of bl blubbered out that, that his name is Brooke, which I usually forget. But I remember this time because I had, uh, well, not a friend, a Discord friend, like he was one of the OGs on my Discord. He was very active a few years back, right? So I remember him. His name was Brooke. Maybe maybe his name was based on this character. I don't know. I think he was a One Piece fan. We haven't spoken in a while, but... Um, yeah, that's why I remembered uh, Brooke when my editor mentioned it uh, two days ago. But it, it's not that big of a spoiler. But regardless, let's go. <laughs> they just confirmed it. His name is Brooke. <laughs> You're an idiot. Yeah, my man is hilarious. My man actually got scared. Oh, evil spirit? Where? <laughs> it's you! How are you talking? Now, nah, Luffy's enjoying the hell out of this. And that orange sweat, like, right? Uh, the orange suits him. I love that they switched it up a bit. <laughs> I won't allow it. Yeah, come on, Zoro. This is out of pocket. This is crazy that he just allowed this guy to be, like, this guy, This is not going to be the case, right? This guy is not going to be our new Nakama. That's just going to be, but then again, Luffy does tend to keep his word. So really, we're just going to have a random ass skeleton be a part of our crew without knowing anything about him. That's crazy. And the skeleton is still, he's still towering over everybody, even Zoro. The skeleton is two meters tall. This is gonna be like some bonding story with Sanji, because Sanji also, you know, felt starvation and he almost died, and that's how, right? That's how his love for the food and cooking became even more extreme. So, are you telling me this guy was, I don't know, cursed or something to live forever? But because he never got, like, he went without food for a long time. He literally lost his skin and everything. He, he was, he, he just, just bones remained. Maybe this is somehow gonna end up he, with him bonding with Sanji. He's already winning Frankie over by complimenting the ship. Skull joke! Skull joke. Bro, what is happening? He doesn't have a stomach. Okay. You don't have a heart either. I mean, hey, I'm not gonna lie, he definitely has the energy of a straw hat, like Frankie, Usopp, Luffy, and now this guy, Brooke. But 
I don't know, bro. This is kind of weird, right? How is he eating without a stomach? Without a, Like, he doesn't have the necessary organs to digest that. And where is it all going? On the floor? That's a waste of food, which Sanji wouldn't allow. So apparently he can eat and poop, even though he has literally no skin, no organs, no nothing. This is... Nothing makes sense anymore. Like... Yomi yomi no mi? no mi ga. Oh. So So what's your power? Uh,ブラ、he can't like he can't do any of this. Physiologically, he can't like right. He can't fart. You can't. You can't do none of that. You need organs for that. You need. This pisses me off. Nothing makes sense. So he was a pirate. He ate a devil fruit that allows you a second chance. Only once. What kind of devil fruit is that, but right? I thought it were only three types, and you can constantly use it. He just ate it, came back to life after dying, and that's it. Like. Is he now immortal? Okay。Okay。But what, his body already decayed? So he was left in a skeleton? And he couldn't swim, so he stayed on the ship? ま、<笑> He doesn't show. Whoa. That is creepy. Vampire. No, that is creepy. That is creepy. Imagine just somebody being there physically, but he can't appear in the mirror. Now that's creepy as hell. And his story doesn't add up. How do you return? Right? You return to your... You return to your body. And it's a skeleton body, but it has an afro? Either that was a wig all along, or that doesn't add up. I mean, I guess it's a maybe gag character. I don't know, bro. This is weird. So he is a vampire. You can steal your shadow. I mean, I guess a Dell fruit user could. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Wait, I don't get it. Somebody with the same curse? I thought your curse derived from a devil fruit, and I thought there was always one devil fruit. Like, there aren't multiple devil fruits with the same type, right? So, nah, nothing adds up, bro. I'm sorry, bro. My boy just making shit up at this point. My man's malfunctioning. <笑>あなたが私をお仲間に誘ってくれましたね。本当に嬉しかったのです。どうもありがとう。そうですね、リルトゥ。だけど本当は断らなければ。オッケー、オッケー。I <笑> Ever knowing anything about him. Like, yeah, sure, he now told us his backstory, but I still don't believe it. So I was just waiting for the other shoe to drop, and it just dropped. He can refuse. Okay. 
この光の差し込まぬ魔の海を切り込んでいますしかししかしそれは言えませんさっき会ったばかりのあなたたちに私のために死んでくれなんて言えるはずもない、okay. 敵が強すぎるってことがヘルモンじゃなし名前を言うくらいいいだろう歌を歌いましょう<笑><笑> Oh, he has an instrument? Oh, I was right! He can be a musician? He can be our musician! Ain't no way! Oh, what the hell is this? A ghost! What the hell is happening? Nah, this is somehow gonna be connected to the dude that stole his shadow. What do you wanna bet, right? What do you wanna bet? And this guy's gonna stay a Nakama. He's actually gonna be our Nakama because I was right. He is a musician. When I heard him sing, that, that was the first thought that occurred to me. But I'm not gonna lie, everything else was so goofy that I was waiting for the other shoe to drop and it just dropped. He refused Luffy, but Luffy is gonna do everything in his power to make him stay. And he's definitely staying because we need a musician. <laughs> Yeah, this is gonna be connected to him losing his shadow. So that trap was set by these guys, or whatever that is. Wandering Ghost Island. The realer bark. bark. Now I'm assuming that's the name of a new arc that we're about to start, isn't it? Thriller Bark. And it's a wandering ghost island. Interesting. What do you want to bet? I bet you a hundred bucks that that's gonna be somehow related to this guy's Brooks shadow being stolen. And this is this is gonna be a whole arc uh, of us fighting these guys to escape and finally somehow getting Brooks shadow back so he can actually stay on the Korean BR musician. Watch it happen, I'm calling it, but I was right, bro. This guy is gonna be a musician and he really is gonna be our Nakama. Damn, bro, okay, okay, this show is throwing me off, man. <laughs> this episode was all over the place with a lot of weird stuff happening at once, man. What the hell was up with that ghost? And I still have so many questions about this Brook guy, about this skeleton, right? So, I don't know, I don't know what to say, but um, definitely interesting. They need to explain the afro though, bro, I'm sorry, how are you a skeleton with an afro? That's definitely a wig. But that being said, I don't have much to add. I'm gonna jump straight into the next episode because I need answers. I honestly need answers. That being said, I really enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the reaction and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, love you, enjoy, and bye.